Welcome everyone. Now, we don't have much time. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to create the world's greatest paper plane. Working in groups of three, you must design a paper plane worthy of entering a competition. But there are some steps you must follow to be able to enter. Step one, research. Much like real engineers, builders or designers, they wouldn't just jump straight into building something. They'll research ideas, draw a plan, write down their list of materials, and build a small scale model. This would allow them to test what ideas work, what don't work, and ways of combining ideas together. Things to think about. How will your plane look? Will it be big? Will it be small? Will it have big wings or small wings? Will it have tips on the wings to keep it steady? Will it use more than one piece of paper? Do you need other materials? Step two, draw your design. Drawing your design allows you to have a clear idea of what you are going to make. It also makes sure that everyone in your team can see and understand what your plane is going to look like. Make sure you label the parts of your plane and make a list of the materials you need. Step three, the most important, apply for approval. As a team, you must submit your plan to your teacher for approval. Only then will you be allowed to move on and build your plane. Step four, build. As a team, you must work together to build your paper plane. Take turns at folding, gluing, cutting, and gathering materials. Check your model against your plan. Is it different? What looks good? What doesn't? Does something need changing? Make notes on your plan to keep track of changes. Step five, test flight. Suit up team because the time has come. Find a safe space away from other teams to test your plane. And don't be discouraged on its first flight. Have each team member try throwing it. Record who threw it best. Step six, revise your design. After your first test, there may be things you want to change. Discuss these with your team. What would you like to change? It is important to note that when you make changes, only change one thing at a time. If you change everything, you won't know what made the difference. Step seven, repeat the test flight. Keep testing until you are happy with your design. Once you are happy, submit your application to attend the competition. Final notes, good luck teams. May your designs fly further than you could have ever imagined. And remember, it is possible to fly a plane without a motor, but you cannot make a plane fly without hard work and skill. Good luck out there.